and I'm super busy. We are uh, having a guest today. Eric Lang is coming to Poland and visiting our offices, and we will be playing games. And I'm have to, I have to pick him from the from the airport in, in a couple of hours. I'm leaving the office, and this is actually our first time we are trying to do something super super new in Asport Games Show. We are changing Asport Games Show into Portal Vlog, and we'll be showing you the whole day at Portal Games offices. So. This guy behind camera, Marek recorded today a ton of stuff from the, from the office, I hope you enjoyed the stuff. And we are trying to publish more and more content for you to see how we actually work, what's happening here. From the things that I haven't achieved today, this is an artifact almost, almost on the table, almost played today. I have a lot of new cards in this box, I was designing them during the weekend and we wanted to play it today, but we haven't had time. This guy behind camera was supposed to play the campaign for the first match and once again and haven't had time to do it. Hello, my name is Ignacy Czebocek, I'm here from Portal Games, I have many games to talk about and potato. All the time you are just signing the boxes. I enjoy it actually. It's, it's a there's it's like it's a, in English it's cathartic. It's, it's like a, it's like gardening. Okay, okay. So relaxing. Last week we announced that we have upgrade kit for Robinson Crusoe. This is a huge thing for all Robinson Crusoe fans who bought the Zeman Games edition, the old edition of the game, and they want to catch up with the new editions from this upgrade pack. There's a lot of cool stuff, the stickers, the wooden pieces, the additional scenario, new rule book, lots of good stuff. And in a couple of days we received 400 orders and our warehouse is just killed by this number of orders. They just want to send greetings to everybody who order the upgrade kit but yes they had very very hard time for the past few days trying to catch up with all these orders that were coming to our uh, web shop i want to thank everybody for all the orders but 400 orders in like three or four days it was amazing uh, time for us so at portalcon we announced that we are having portal digital in-house development team that is working on the application for our games and ties of time the first game that we are working on and uh, that means that every week we work on this app and this week we were working on the campaign mode for the app, we were working on the AI, which at this moment is kicking our asses and is too strong, so we have to figure out how to change it. So there is a, a lot of work going on here in the office every single week and dedicated to the apps and uh, we hope that early spring mm, or late spring, we will see, we will be able to provide you and offer you the very first app from Portal Games Digital and we are so excited about this. So how you to check Portal Games? And no, 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 this no, no, no. is Eric Lang, and he just stole my thunder, probably. Mm -hmm. Hi! Uh, Eric visited our offices, where he was with us for uh, three days? Three days, three days, three days, three days. Yeah. But basically, yes. Be, uh, basically, we are going today to the camp. I have never been there. Then what it is you? huge. Uh, it's uh, called uh, Festival International de Cannes. It's a French... Uh, you speak French? Uh, yeah, of course. That's your fun Everybody <laughs> speaks French. Well, I'm Canadian, so we have to speak French. Okay. Um, we uh, it's a giant uh, it's a giant convention which is um, uh, it's a mainstream game convention and it's free to enter and there's like two hundred thousand people that uh, come to the convention and uh, about a third of them are gamers so it's huge absolutely huge but it's a really good uh, insight into the French market because uh, everybody speaks mostly French a little bit of English uh, all the French publishers will be there and the French partners of English publishers, it's a good place to demo games, to look at new games, and to play games in a family setting. It's, a, it's, not, like a, it's not like a gamer convention at all. You really get to expose yourself to the mainstream of games. Uh, yeah, I'm going to present uh, Victorian Masterminds and um, Secrets from uh, Repo Production, and also um, the, we're gonna celebrate the launch, uh, last year's launch of Dolores from Louis Men. Uh, Dolores is a simple, uh, it's the Prisoner's Dilemma made into a card game uh, with a couple of extra twists. You can teach it in three minutes. All you have to know is peace, war, first pick, and a tricky scoring system, and some events. Uh, designed with Bruno Faiduti. It's chaotic, it's mean, it's got cool negotiation, it's 15 minutes. Uh, Victoria Masterminds designed with Antoine Boza, who is the French version of Ignacy Chepechek. Um, that's not true. Uh, they're very different. <laughs> um, Antoine is um, uh, an old friend of mine. We w 
uh, he's a storyteller. We like to play. Um, we've always wanted to make a game together. We did. It's a medium weight Euro game. Um, it's got a great story. Old Victorian um, villains from uh, Sherlock Holmes time with steampunk and, uh, and destroying cities. Mustache twirling evil. It's going to be cool. It's 45, 60 minutes. Perfect weight that I like. Um, and Secrets, also designed with Fruno uh, by Duty. <laughs> also designed with Bruno Paiduti. Um It is a. Uh, I played with Ignasi actually. It's one of the first games. Couple of times. Um, it is a hidden identity game. Uh, KGB versus CIA versus the dirty hippies. Um, that um, you <laughs> you're trying to um, you're trying to score points for your team, identify your team members, but not get spoiled by the hippie who wants the least amount of points. Uh, it's high bluffing, lots of table talk, uh, fast, simple, amazing. Uh, I, I love the game. Um, it's there are a lot of social deduction games on the market now, but we designed this game years and years ago. I played um, it two years ago for the first time. Again, I think, yeah, yeah. It's it's. I love those kind of games. Uh, Anything interesting here in Poland? Uh, you it, recommend coming to Poland on in this season, or the rain was not super fun? Uh, well, I mean, I so we had rain for three days. Straight. It is exactly what I expected. Uh, <laughs> it was gray and rainy. Um, my family's from Germany. I, it's, it's the same weather as in Germany. Um, I've never been to Poland before, so I was. Um, I wanted to see how it matched with my prejudices, and um, I mean, the food was good. I was. I, I enjoyed the food quite a bit. I like the. Um, the people are interesting and. Um, Basically, almost exactly as I expected. They're like Germans, but they don't speak my language. <laughs> um, the um, uh, I enjoyed the area. I mean, we, we didn't see a lot of Poland. Yeah, we were, we were very here, busy yeah. working the whole time. Um, so most of my memories of Poland were working on our top secret new game, which is going to have cool stuff in it. But no pressure. No pressure. Lower the pressure. Lower the, Lower pressure. the pressure from the day zero. Lower day zero. the pressure. <laughs> well, don't uh, don't have too high expectations yet, guys. If you leave it. And see you next week in a Portal Games vlog and see this guy on Twitter, Facebook, where are you? Everywhere. Uh, you just Twitter. Twitter. I don't I don't talk on Facebook. I only talk about food on Facebook. Thank you. Bye bye. Stay tuned. And we just got the information from Board Game Geek that we got nominations for Golden Geek Awards, for Tides of Madness, for Cry Havoc. Thank you so much. Hello, I'm here. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this special episode of Ask Board Games Show. There was no answering your questions, sorry for that, but we hoped to show you how the company works. We had uh, loads of videos and materials during this week, and I'm going to count in 15 minutes, so this is it for, to for today. And Marek, the guy behind the camera, will now use uh, all the footage we did for the whole week and make from this, uh, I hope, interesting uh, remix of how we work and what's happening and you will see you, you see what happened uh, during these couple of days. Uh, please, I really appreciate if you can focus on this, please. If you, if you give us in the comment feedback, if you like something like that, because for, from outside it's a lot of work to actually go with the camera every single day to the office, show what's happening, but if you appreciate it, if you like that, kind of, of, of content and that way of uh, doing a Portal Games vlog, we can do it for you. But we need a clear message, Ignace, that was interesting, it was interesting and we want more or no, Ignace, uh, leave it as it was, just as board game show. So I really appreciate it. I know that we have on average about 800 or 700 views. I want to see 700 comments, like I'm talking to you, sir, and I'm talking to you, madam, and I'm talking to you. And this is Fast first, it is a, a Polish, Polish sort of holiday in which for the whole first day everybody in Poland eats donuts. Uh, Eric Lang was super surprised today when we, when he learned about this about this uh, holiday. I'm going to come. I will do a lot of shooting. So please, um, I hope that you have uh, interesting content also next week. From now on, thank you.